Hello everyone, Sons of Dark 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Industrial Revolution, a fabric mod that simply adds in a bunch of different machines. Uh, I'll just go here. So you can see there's a furnace, there's a bunch of generators, uh, infuser, compressor, pulverizer, bunch of power storage, miner, recycler, rancher, chopper, four tiers of cables, drills, and a bunch of other components along with upgrades for the machines. So, uh, if you just looked at, say, Industrial Revolution here, you would see there's no ores. There is the enriched nickelite and the enriched nickelite ingot, but uh, there is no real mention uh, or sign of ores. So you'd actually want to search ores just in case, as I think this goes off the cotton ores. So uh, yeah, and it embeds certain stuff from that into the mod itself. You don't need to download cotton or anything, as far as I can tell. And uh, just from the technical name and such, I have come across it before. So yeah, so you find copper as well as tin and nickelite in the world. And uh, yeah, there is also some nether and N versions as well. So I'm pretty sure you need a wooden pickaxe for all of these. The wooden pickaxe will definitely do for all these. Yep. And uh, obviously the tin and the copper will be useful for ingots, but the nickelite gives you a dust, which then you can use for different things like a battery, certain other machines and cables, different circuits for different tiers of machines, as well as obviously being used for the enriched nickelite, nickelite ingot, and then an enriched Nicolite ingot, but then obviously tier 4 stuff by the looks of things, or more powerful things like the solar generator. So there's that. Um, and then the copper ore can be either smelted, blasted, or pulverized into dust, to then make either its own ingot or things like bronze. So yeah. So there's that. So that'll be definitely your beginning. Uh, from there, of course, we'll just move all this stuff out of the way because we don't really need any more. We'll get rid of weather for about the tenth time now. Um, let's see, we'll go through the other stuff, I guess. So we've got the hammer, which is made like so. And we'll actually test this on the ores and see if we can get dust from them normally. Or if it is for multiple, um, a multi-size breaking pickaxe. Nope, so it's not for dusts there, but it does work like a pick at least. Uh, let's see, so it's not going to do that, and I don't know if it is like a wrench equivalent either, so we'll just take a look here, so that's going to take a bit, I assume, just, yes, that's not probably going to break it, so it might be a wrench of sorts, I assume, yeah, but it can break the oars, so there's that, yeah, can we have not, ah, I guess for the plates, I've got a bad, I know there was something I was missing, there was like one other tech aspect that happened, so yeah. So you can use this to make plates, which is obviously used for your different components, as you can see here, such as the drills, the upgrades, and more. So there's that. And then we'll obviously move on to the more interesting stuff, because um, obviously the batteries and circuits and such are pretty much self-explanatory, along with the fans, what goes into what machines and such, and you can easily sort of connect the dots based on what recipes are really moving from one to the other. Um, so we'll go with the machines first, as well as the generators. So you get the coal generator first, made with iron plates, a battery that stores 4,000-ish, uh, 5,000-ish. Nickelite, a circuit made with the nickelite and the iron plate. And then of course uh, a machine frame with iron and nickelite and such. So let's put some coal in here and we'll find out what we get from it. So we've got some energy in here, my guess is temperature, okay. And if we send this to a, I'm trying to rule what they're called in this mod, uh, flux container, that's it. So let's put, say, some cabling here, this here, and we can send that to it, I think, unless I missed something with the connection. Yeah, so we've got full pet on, and the temperature will just, I assume, dissipate over time or increase depending on how much coal you throw at it or something? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Um, but obviously if we had a battery we could use that and store the power in here. Um, it is rechargeable. I don't know what I'm missing exactly. Can we use a hammer maybe to make a connection between them? No, it is just for plates then. Alright. 
I might be missing something maybe with the side it's supposed to be, even though I'm pretty sure it's the output side, so I don't know there. But then again, you've got a coal generator. You've got a biomass, which you can obviously use biomass with, which is just breaking down a bunch of saplings in a recycler, which you can make with dirt, nickelite, machine frame, and a bunch of other components, which we'll actually get to now, just in case. And see what we need for that. So... And it can accept power from the side. Okay, so the generators definitely work with blocks nearby, but I can't get it working with the cable, it seems. And I was using cable tier 1, okay. So there's that. Uh, we can't find much information, I assume, on it. Yeah, because that is it. So it's just the saplings. So we'll just try this and see, and see if it's also random or not. My guess is it's just going to be as simple as a sapling to a biomass instead of just a percentage. Um, giving it to you. you know, we've got our upgrades on the sides and our battery for outputting the power if we wanted, which we could do. And I can't get a full one there. Okay, so you get two biomass for each thing um, to then make the biomass generator. We'll put in, say, one biomass and find out how much this gives us. So, quite a fair amount by the looks of things. Um, but we get our container nearby and see if we can store it, which we cannot for some reason. So I don't know what I'm missing with the storage containers, but uh, yeah. And we'll just cover those quick of course. Ah, there we go. Which obviously there's four tiers using pretty much similar resources. You just swap out the circuit, expand with batteries and you're good to go. And you can store obviously um, more in each one. Um, pretty much as much as a battery it seems, or a bit more than that I think in total, and there's the GUI there, so there's 10,000, 100,000, that, and that. Okay, so that's the rate I'm missing. There we go. So, not too bad. So that's those. Uh, moving on though, we have, obviously, two solar generators. We have a lower tier. Okay, so we have the basic here made with the circuits and other such. You can upgrade it to 512 with some nickelite ingots, and that seems to be it. Yeah, okay, so we'll just go and clear the weather again. Um, and we'll just place these in the world, and we'll see how good they are at generating and if they have a GUI or not, which they do. So that's already at 128, and that's already filled, and that's going to go to a certain temperature. Okay, so my guess is if you're in a desert biome, the temperature will go up. Now, I don't know if the temperature actually determines the power output as well, um, but my guess is that it, similar to say, combustion stuff, temperature is still important here. Um, so, yeah. So, there's that. How much it stores in its internal buffer, how quick it will probably generate. Um, we'll see if we can put these nearby and see if they actually store, which they aren't right now. It is from that side only. Interesting, so that is the input side. I thought it was the output side. Well, that, sh that surprises me. Okay, glad I tested that. Okay, so apparently that's the case. Um, we'll just break you, and I'm probably not going to get you back, am I? Yes, I am. Now we'll find out how well these do then, otherwise. So we've got this cable back. I wish we did. Okay, we're lucky on. Then we can send them the wrong way. Okay, this is going to take a bit. Come on, there we go. Ah, this is not going to work out for me, is it? Alrighty, there. There we go. So that's. We don't really need to cover the cables because they just upgrades um, and pretty much mimic the containers with acceptable IO. Uh, let's see, so we'll get to the furnace now along with the pulverizer, compressor, and we'll get to upgrades of course soon um, along with the other important blocks. So, our furnace, we've got like so, which obviously has the temperature, the energy, and other aspects. We'll just get, of course, a solar generator. We get the highest tier, we'll get a cable, and so on. So if we put you here, you can accept that already. But I'll just get the other cables just in case for the other machines. Oh, okay, and the actual heat is too much for it to explode. 
that's good to know. Um, I don't know how you'd reduce that though. Do you need water in the actual slot, or do you need it around the machine? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I might actually just go with a generator then. Um, coal generator instead of a solar, because that's going to accept too much and it can't handle it. So, that's good to know. Uh, we'll want coal, of course. That's doing alright. And that's sending it there. Alright, so we'll just put an ore in and see how quick it processes, which is alright, not bad. Uh, we've got the pulverizer, which has a ton of temperature and is going to explode, uh, apparently. Okay, so that's going to be tricky. Um, can I have its own generator then? To match it? Speed and such? If you've already got coal in here, I might as well take it out. Not waste too much of it. So just the one coal. Yeah, okay, so one blocker can do it, but it can't do much more? Interesting, okay. That's kind of strange. Alrighty then. Very strange. Okay. So we've got the pulverizer, which I assume can also do ores. I just realized I had the other there. We'll just check for recipes to see what it can do, which is a bunch of dusts for ores, and that's it. So there's no cobble to sand and gravel or gravel to flint and such recipes there. So we could obviously use a hopper, I assume, and send these to a furnace or a chest or something. So we'll just get one of those set up and see how well this sends things out. And if I'm doing it right, I am. Okay, so there's no other configuring or anything I need with a upgrade or so. Got the compressor, which can compress things, of course. So my guess is to make plates without the need of a hammer. Yep, by the looks of things it is. And we've got the infuser for, I assume, the drills. To power those up. No? Okay, so to combine elements. So obviously it's for the um, alloys and use of nickelite, along with some coolant bucket which we can use for upgrades and possibly also the machines for the sake of the temperature I assume so we could put it in here besides water maybe or um, otherwise uh, is it an actual fluid? yes it is, kind of um, so yeah so that's what those do 